it's Sunday the 10th of March and um, we're starting the week on a Sunday night because I uh, need to be out early tomorrow to take my wife to a hospital appointment. Um, it's been a quieter weekend with uh, the number of orders coming in. We've got uh, only 10 on Bricklink uh, and even those are fairly low lots, 126 lots for 391 items. Now, of course, we did send some stuff out on Saturday, um, so, you know, that could be impacting things a bit. But um, it, it's, uh, you know, an indication that... Um, Things are tailing away a, a little bit this month. I did have a, a really good start to the month, to be honest. And at one point was 60% um, up on uh, where I was uh, last month. I think that's died down now a little bit to around 20%. Um, but it was uh, it was going really well at the start of the month. Now, on Brick Owl, uh, Brick Owl was really... Uh, letting us down a bit in terms of the numbers on there because there's just five orders on uh, Brick Owl, uh, 55 lots for 310 items. But um, oddly, there are sort of uh, 38, 40-ish active carts at the moment, um, which is a little higher than normal uh, for me. So I would hope that some of those would turn into orders. So... There's still a chance they might come through tonight or uh, early in the morning. Um, and then we'd have to get them out later in the day in the post. Um, and then on eBay, eBay is also really uh, quiet. Just one sale on eBay. So um, after the initial rush of where I guess everyone had, you know, done well with, um, you know, getting Christmas uh, finally out the way, uh, getting back into the swing of things with... Uh, you know, uh, getting through that long month of, of January to the next payday. Um, and now we're, you know, they've had a bit of a rush uh, uh, with the money at the end of February, but it's it seems to have tailed off a little bit. Um, uh, as always, I've, I've been uh, picking a few orders tonight and trying to get them out of the way. So this is the first uh, batch um, on eBay. We've got a Sora uh, paper bag going out. And then we get into the orders um, where, you know, there's not really too much to comment on. Um, we have got a, a Minecraft spider going out there, uh, plus some window panes and things. Lots of dark green, a uh, set of legs going out. Uh, this customer had ordered 10 of these. And um, I'm not sure whether I'd just been... Um, uh, I don't know, um, not taking enough notice when I listed them or whether they've got damaged in storage. But four of them had broken clips. Um, so I've had to contact them and tell them I can only send uh, six and uh, we'll have to refund for the other four because of the broken clips. So they'll uh, they'll be going in the bin, unfortunately, because they're not good for, for anything else. Um, here we've got a few odd parts, including this. A uh, little yellow feather, and those who know about these things will know that's about five pounds worth uh, there. So uh, that was good. Uh, we've got 60 um, collectible minifig bases going out, along with a few other minifig parts. And then we've just got a few sort of modest parts orders. We've got a hairpiece going out. We've got some Technic connectors and uh, a few more modest uh, parts orders. Um, now I do have another order to pick um, that's about 75 lots, so bigger uh, uh, order. And that one's probably gonna wait till in the morning. Uh, what I'm gonna do is focus on getting all of these uh, packed and ready for the post um, so that we can get out early uh, tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have a chance to pick this one in the morning and get that out uh, along with it. But I'm also expecting a few orders in uh, on top of that as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, now, I did get this uh, large box in uh, yesterday. Uh, not had a chance to open that just yet. So we'll uh, we'll get to that tomorrow. I'll, I'll get it open, show you what I've got and then uh, crack on with the contents of that. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna get this lot ready for the post.
Monday morning and a couple more orders in overnight, but not an awful lot. Uh, still one to pick, uh, which was 75 lots, which I've not got time for uh, this morning before I go to the hospital. We will do that when I get back. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what's going out here. Uh, so we've got some Technic uh, lift arms and then we've got some various accessories, a couple of the heads that are listed on Friday have gone out as well and then another order here with a uh, gold prospector uh, minifig, a couple of capes and uh, some more heads, uh, one of which again was listed on Friday. Uh, so I'm going to add these to the pile that we've got here and uh, get those out in the next 10 minutes or so and then we'll get back, get to this box uh, after I've picked that order, as long as uh, no more come in, of course. Uh, otherwise, we'll have to pick those as well, get them out this afternoon. Uh, but uh, got to rush and uh, get these out the door. So I'm back from the hospital and uh, I'm going to open this box and have a look inside and show you all uh, what we've been picking up. Uh, so as you can see, these are a bunch of uh, sealed sets. Uh, let's have a look at what we've actually got in here. So we've got the Skeleton Dungeon. That's uh, 21189. And I think we have got two, three, four, five of those. Uh, then we've got 21242, which is the end arena, uh, suitable for the brick arena to get the end arena. But um, four of uh, those, I believe. Uh, then we've got three of the Fox Lodge. And then we've got three city sets. Uh, a little bit battered. Doesn't matter because they're going to be parted out. Uh, six or three, eight, four. And so, you know, these are all, all sets that have been around a little while, and you'll have seen them discounted um, around, I'm sure, on, uh, on various places. Now, I managed to pick these up for between um, seven and eight pounds a piece, which I think is really good. So, um, Things like this, uh, the Minecraft ones, I always like because of the plates and the basic bricks. Uh, so as you can see, lots of basic bricks, lots of plates, lots of tiles. Plus the minifigs tend to go relatively uh, okay, not high value, but they do sell through, especially on eBay. Um, so well worth uh, kind of picking up if you can get them at a good price. Um, even the uh, the fox suit guy uh, tends to sell. Even the foxes I've sold separately, and again, lots of um, white and orange uh, bricks, plates, etc. So uh, these were about seven pound a piece, I think, maybe eight, uh, which were worth picking up. The city ones were about seven, seven pound, seven fifty maybe. Um, which again, I thought were worth uh, were worth picking up, and uh, especially things like uh, the the end arena where you've got lots of black uh, bricks, lots of two by fours and and one bys, and then you've got plates and some decent figures in that one as well. So well worth uh, picking up that lot, and they'll be getting parted out uh, this week. Now, when I got back, I did also have a few more orders. Um, to get to uh, the post office today. Um, we knew that we had one to pick, so this was this one, which was about 75 uh, lots. Then we've had uh, three more in, um, one from a regular uh, customer, and then um, uh, one here with some interesting bits of uh, lots of antennas and, and things like that in various trans uh, colors and stuff. And then an order here for some uh, minifig parts. Uh, some uh, Ninjago minifigs and uh, a few other bits and pieces as well. So these are going to get packed up and dropped in the drop box at the depot because obviously we've missed 
uh, the regular post. Um, so I'll get those packed up now and then I'll get these pulled out of this box, dispose of the box and uh, get them tidied up a little bit and uh, we'll maybe get to some partying out. It's Tuesday morning and we're back to picking orders um, before we get to uh, doing some parting out of this little lot. Um, I'm not going to get a chance to pick them, although I've got a couple over there that are probably going to have to wait and uh, go out in the uh, in the drop box this afternoon because this, uh, you know, as I say many times, the uh, postal times kill me in terms of getting to the depot. Um, on eBay, we've got a Black Falcon uh, night going out. Uh, then we've got a bunch of um, uh, tiles of, of various... Uh, colors uh, and types there uh we've got some technic stuff and then we've got some uh, minifigures going out we've got a violin kid uh going out there and then we've got a captain jones uh from hidden side and a jack david's as well as a few other uh, bits and pieces um we've got um a couple of minifigs, these were listed uh, last week, uh, I think, um, when I was just going through a bunch of minifigs. These are the figs, uh, these two from the Lego movie that go with the um, the garbage truck um, that, um, you know, can be made into uh, a couple of, of different models. And um, these uh, grills have all sold as well in the light grey. These are about £3 odd a piece, so uh, they're good to go as well um uh and an order for some you know small parts going out there and then we've got some uh vehicle bases going out and a bunch of plates and a couple of other bits and pieces as well so um we'll get these packed up and uh, get to the the post office uh then i guess we'll get back and pick these uh couple of orders see if anything else has come in i've just accepted an offer on a on an ebay uh sale as well so we'll see if that gets paid and then we'll decide which one of these we're going to tackle and get parted out first i don't know if anyone's been following along on uh, some issues with uh syncing with the brick packer application that's a uh, an alternative to Brick Freedom um, to sync your, your stores between uh, BrickLink and BrickAl. And I was just looking through it and um, there was some pretty um, shocking news, if true, um, that the owner of the store um, has actually passed away. Um, now... I don't know if we know um, 100%, but uh, this is the link to the obituary of um, uh, this uh, person, Gerrit Jan uh, Kistemaker. Um, and people seem to think that this is the uh, developer. Um, so it, if it is, it's incredibly sad um, to have... Um, lost somebody uh, from the community and someone who was contributing uh, to it in, in such a, a, a useful way and uh, many people were using um, their application. Uh, so I just really wanted to um, pay, you know, some, some respect to him and, um, you know, um, let people know. Um, I guess that means... Um, I'm going to have to uh, update my um, syncing um, article um, where I reference Brickpacker in here. Um, obviously, Brickpacker is not going to be a choice uh, going forward. I had actually put a warning out on the uh, the blog uh, previously um, because um, people were saying they were reaching out to Brickpacker and getting no response and this would obviously explain why they would be getting no response uh from them and why uh there there were issues um so i'll i'll need to update the um the article um maybe think about uh, uh whether there are any other uh syncing options uh, out there um i still wholeheartedly recommend brick freedom anyway uh to be honest and of course um brick sync for those 
who want a free solution and are able to manage it in uh, their own uh, way with, with, you know, with a um a pc or or laptop or whatever that can be running it 24 7 it's a viable uh option and is is free but for those who want a, a cloud solution um then i guess um brick freedom is uh, you know the the only kind of real alternative i know there's bricker and a couple of other tools there's some windows based uh tools from i think it's in space uh software um but uh for me for instance being a mac user the windows application is um uh no um use to me um so um um i'll you know um for me it, it was always brick freedom anyway but anyway, again, um, for those who are watching, for those who have had interactions with Garrett, um, if this is indeed um, uh, true, um, then deeper sympathies to, uh, to the family, etc. So I'm just starting to part out uh, some of these sets and I'm starting with 21242, the end arena. And this is my first experience of paper bags. And um, uh, uh, very eco-friendly, obviously, uh, rather than uh, these plastic ones. And as you might notice, the odd thing here is that I've opened two sets. One of them were paper bags and the other is plastic. Both exactly the same set. Um, both look identical in terms of boxes, etc. So whether these have come uh, from different factories or whatever, um, I have no idea. Um, but that's all I can assume. Um, so we'll crack on um, and we will uh, get these parted out and um, see what is in store with the rest of these. So we've got one uh, set parted out now, just ready to put away. And I'll be doing that uh, shortly. Uh, just need to um, get these uh, few orders ready for the post office for this afternoon's run uh, to drop these in the uh, in the drop box. So I uh, just thought I'd show you them. Um, we've got a, uh, a Gore minifig uh, going out on eBay. Got a couple of tiles that I listed uh, last week uh from um one of the lord of the rings sets i think or the, the hobbit i'm not sure which and then uh we've got an order here for some things in quantity 100 of each in yellow red dark pink green uh then we've got masonry bricks uh we've got some black slope some tiny tiles and various other uh bits and pieces and then uh, here we've got an order going out, a uh, couple of, um, well, it's not a sticker. I'm not quite sure what this is from. There's three of them and they're like a heavy stock card. Uh, then we've got a label going out and a few printed bits and pieces and uh, other bits and bobs. So we'll get those uh, packed. I'll drop them at the post box when I pick the grandkids up. Um, and then uh, when I get back, I'll get that uh, little lot uh, put away and added to the store before we crack on with the next set. It's Wednesday morning and we've got a few orders in uh, this morning, which we've got packed. So let's have a quick look at what they are before I get on with the rest of the day. On uh, eBay, we've got a group minifig going out. We've got a gold Harry Potter. Then on Bricklink, we've got three Minecraft figures. We've got this um, Dreams uh, Rabbit and some tiles. Uh, a couple of uh, uh, parts going out there. A lot of vintage stuff going out in this order, both parts and uh, minifigs. Lots of uh, dark grey, light grey, some old tan parts, etc and uh, another order uh, going out there for parts and uh, the same story with most of the other things a few heads going out here i think most of those were listed 
uh, last week. Some Technic stuff, including these three black uh, engines. And then another small order there. So get these packed up off to the post office and then we'll be cracking on with another part out. Well, we've got a slight change to this morning's uh, workload because we've just got an order in for 208 lots, uh, 1,600 items for £140. So that's going to take a little while to pick um, and it's going to delay me getting to uh, the next part out. So, uh, I best crack on with that. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, could take a little while. I might even do it in a couple of batches. Probably won't get it out today. And um, probably be uh, one that's going to go out in tomorrow's post, I think. So, I'm part way through picking this order. But I've, I've had to stop because my iPad's uh, run out of power. Um, so, I'm just taking a, a little bit of a break and uh, trying to charge uh, the iPad. I could uh, move over to my phone and uh, just pick the rest off there, but I might as well just have a breather for, for 10 minutes and do a bit of charging. Um, also got um, a few more orders uh, come in that need to go out. Uh, so we've got a clone trooper on eBay, a Minecraft uh, poly bag, and then a couple of small orders. Uh, on Bricklink and uh, this one is going off to Norway. I'm probably gonna wait till tomorrow morning to send that one actually. So it'll be just these three will be going out in this afternoon's uh, mail. Uh, so as I said, uh, I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea and uh, wait until the iPad's recharged and we'll finish this order off. It's Thursday morning and uh, I'm just about to start picking uh, a few orders, but I thought I'd show you this um large order first before i start boxing it up because i need uh, to reclaim these couple of tubs so um a massive amount of stuff here this uh was about 135 pounds worth and uh, there's just all sorts of uh, bricks and bits and pieces lots of plates uh, lots of two by bricks um the odd um window frame uh boat as you can see here some ladders and we've got uh tons of stuff uh going out uh it's about two and a half uh, kilos worth uh so i'm gonna get it uh boxed up hopefully i've got a big enough and strong enough uh box for it um, but i'm pretty sure i have and uh then we'll crack on with the rest of the orders well, that's another set parted out and ready to put away that was uh five of these 21189 and uh, I'm gonna crack on and get these put away now uh, quick uh, comment um, still got lots of the pots of the little things on my desk here but quick comment about the paper bags because I said I've not done a lot of sets with uh, paper bags before and um, I I like the paper bags I, I, I think I like the sort of eco-friendly approach of it I I think it's it's better in some ways than the than the plastic. The um the only downsides for me is that I feel like it's much easier to have parts trapped in the bag and not realize it. So you've got to be extra careful with um making sure you've got all of the parts out of the bags, especially on the smaller uh bags when you've got little bits and pieces that uh little tiles and, and things that could be stuck in the corners etc um, but I guess it's a small price to pay for being uh, eco-friendly uh, the only other thing of course is you can't judge what's in there so you know some I was opening a bag and finding two smaller bags which equally were paper bags in some cases oddly in some bags there were there were paper bags uh, and then in other bags there were plastic bags so obviously it's uh it's a lengthy transition away from the plastic to the paper and maybe uh, it's it's you know different factories are producing different things um as i said previously but obviously we're going to end up with paper throughout the entire process so anyway time to go and create a brick store file and get this lot added to it and get it put away so I've got the latest part out all uh, put away, all, all except for the minifigs which I need to bag up and get put away which are still on my desk. 
um, but that gives us uh, 1,841 items going up in 149 lots for about £160. And I've just uh, added that to my log uh, file, so it means we've added 84 new uh, lots to the store with that, which is good. Um, I was surprisingly low on inventory, though I've had a, quite a busy month, to be honest, and I'm about 40% up on last month, and that's hit the inventory uh, pretty hard, so we're 7 Hundred and two thousand seven hundred and sixty before I added this, and we we close to uh, seven hundred and five uh, now. And uh, adding the uh, that eighty four lots has brought us up to thirteen five nine one, which um you know is uh, is an improvement at least and is heading in the right direction. Um, now um I've got to go to the post office shortly. Uh, I've got my orders for the day. Uh, here, so we'll have a quick look at what we've got. I think I showed you this one yesterday, which uh, I didn't send out and held this over. This is going off to Norway. An order here for all plates. We've got something like 170 something uh, green uh, 4x4 plates, and then lots of other plates in all kinds of colours. Um, and this is someone who bought a, a batch of these about a week ago, so uh, I I don't know what the building. I I'm assuming Mills plates or something like that, but um, you never know. Um, some more parts orders. A couple of shields going out there. We've got a poly bag going out on eBay. Uh, more parts orders. Some minifig torsos, and then uh, on eBay we've got a couple more Harry Potter minifigs going out, which I took off as on. Uh, which sold for just about £8 each. So uh, I'm going to get those packed up. I'm a little bit frustrated at the moment because I've been waiting around for a call from my car dealership um, who asked for a call with me about my uh, my car and uh, potentially trading it in. And uh, it's almost an hour past when they were meant to call and uh, they've not called. So um, chances are we won't be doing any business uh with them so anyway um that's meant i've I've just given up and uh, i'll get this lot packed away and then we can get to the post office i'm just wondering how many of you received uh this email uh, i'm assuming everybody but it was an email from bricklink um asking whether you want to join uh their research group um it was basically um you click on the sign up and there's a few forms to fill in. Um, there was a, a few comments on the Bricklink forum wondering whether this was a, a bogus um, mail, but I, I don't think it is. Um, it's very uh, in keeping with uh, with the mails that they send out, all the address um, matches up and uh, and what have you. So I think it's uh, it's kosher, but it. Um, it asks for your your name, your username, etc. Uh, ready to uh, sign up, and um, I've I've certainly added my details. Um, so um, what's going to come of it? I've no idea. Um, it's uh, it certainly strikes me as a good way to to scam people law with a, a something like this, which is asking for your name and and store etc. But, um, you know, just uh, just a, a word of uh, caution when you get in these uh, kind of mails to be checking that they do look like they're from uh, reliable sources. I do believe someone on the Bricklink forum um, raised the point about the mail and asked if it was genuine, etc. Um, not sure whether they got a response or not, um, but... Um, Anyway, we'll see what comes uh, as a result of uh, of the the mail and signing up and uh, how the research is going to take place going forward. It's Thursday evening and I'm editing the uh, vlog and I'm doing it um, a day or two early this week because I'm heading out in the morning. Um, if I do have any orders, I'll drop them at the depot uh, on my way out and then I'm heading off uh, for the weekend uh, going back north to see uh, some family. I've got a 60th wedding anniversary uh, dinner to go to. 
and uh, uh, catching up with uh, some uh, family up there as well. Um, I'll be back in time for uh, Sunday to start picking orders again, but not probably in enough time to help me prep uh, and post the video in time for it going live at six o'clock as it normally would. Hence me uh, having to get on with it a little bit early.